Hello, this is Chris from Politech, and in this video we are going to learn how to add a content switcher to our site using the Elementor page builder and the happy add-ons for Elementor plugin. To do that, we need to go over to the left where it says plugins. We are going to click on add new and on the plugin search bar we are going to type happy add-ons and this is the one we are going to use it will add some extra widgets to our site so we need to click on install now and then on activate once we have done that we need to go to the top left name of the site and we are going to click on visit site there we go now on the top we are going to click on edit with elementor there we go now on the widget left and on the left bar on the widget search we are going to type content and this is the one we are going to use the content switcher we are going to click with the left mouse button hold drag and we are going to release on the section and now we have a few options as you can see if we click it will switch between two contents and this will vary depending on the design we choose. We have round two, which is mostly the same with a different design, square and square two. There we go. But the one we are going to use, which is the one which allows the most options, which is the button design. In this case, it will be different types of button with different types of content. So now we are going to move to content. As you can see, we have a list, primary, second, and others. And if we use a different design, for example, round, and we go to content, we can see it has a warning that this design requires only two items and only the first two items will be used which means that this one here the other will not be shown so for that we are going to use the button example so we are going back to content and we have a list of items we can select to add a new item and as you can see it will be shown here content we have title content we have type in this case it's plain html text and we can add the content here we can add an icon for example for our tab like this as you can see an icon, an icon has appeared now we can select the icon position right and we can select this one to be the one active when the widget is low so we are going to go to primary and deactivate the same option as you can see so now we can also select to not to be activated so only when we click the content is shown but we are going to go with the active one we have created and we have different types we can add a saved section or a saved page to be added to the tab instead of the plain text so we are going to go to the display settings and here we can show where the content will be aligned on the different resolutions the space between the switcher and the content section and this can also be changed between the different resolutions percentage OPX and the speed of the animation on the switch between the contents and if we make it really slow when I switch you can see the change between the tabs here you can add the time you want and switch better to your side so we are going to move to the start tab 
And now here we can change quite a number of things. So now we have the typography of the switch family. We can change size as we like, add a weight. We can transform the text, add some sign, decoration, delay the space in line height as usual. And we have icon spacing. As you can see, the space between the icon and the text on the switcher. We are going to leave that as it is. And we can change it on the different resolutions as well. And now we have title color, icon color, background color for the normal, which is when it's not selected as active. So we can change color. For example, there, color for the icon, as you can see, add a color for the background, there we go, add a border if we want to add to the bottom uh, with a different width as we choose, that looks pretty good. We can change it on the different resolutions, change the type of border we are adding that's to your liking you are i'm going to go with the solid now the color for that border and the radius as you can see it has a radius of 30 if we go to nothing the buttons will turn square so i think round looks better good and we can also add a box shadow to the button. So as you can see, it shows here when I activate, we can change color, position, we can move it a little bit to the left, right, and up and down with the vertical axis, add some more blur to it, and the spread it has around the button, and it could be on the online or inside the button. So we are going to go with the default. And now we can change it for the active, which is this one right here. We can add any color we want to the title, to the icon, to the background. We can change the color of the active button, as you can see. And we can add a border as well to the one which is active, like this. That's a little bit too strong. And now we have some padding, can be added on the different resolutions as well. And we can choose to change the different values, top, bottom, left and right, and the margin as well. And we have also it's time for the box, which is where are the buttons in, padding to the box, or a border to the box, so it will cover the other buttons. The radius could be a square, the box as well. And we are going to do that. And we can change the box shadow in the same manner and for the switch bar we can as well add background as you can see we can add a color it could be a gradient we can add a video also it could be an image and we could select a border as well if we want to and a box shadow as well and for the content, in this case, will be this one right here. We can add padding. We can change the leather, the typography. We can change the color of the text too, if we want to. We could add, could add a background as well. We could add an image, a color, as you can see. And we can also choose the alignment of the content 
and a border and a radius and a box shadow as well. Once we have made all the changes we want to our content switcher, we need to save them by going to the top lower left and clicking on the update button. So that's it. We have learned how to add the content switcher to our site using the Elementor page builder and the happy add-ons for Elementor plugin in a quick and easy manner. If you like the video, subscribe to our channel and share with a friend who might need help on the sites. See you the next time on Palitech.